I'm about to set a toilet into place here, and yes, I will remove the towel, but take a look at this. These are the bolts that will hold the toilet down to the flange, and it might look like I have the nuts on upside down, but no, let's take a closer look. This is a very old toilet flange, and there are not slots to slide this into place and hold it. You have to just screw the end in. These are the old bolts. I'm not going to reuse them. For some reason, the store didn't have anything except with the plate, so I'm going to grind that off. But when you grind it off, you might end up hurting the thread. So I've already put the nut on, and it's going to go in like this. I might actually put the toilet in first if I have to, and then slide this down and connect it if we have hurt the threads. We definitely compromised the thread, so we are going to put these in after the toilet is set. We've put the original ones back into place as markers so that we can make sure we get the toilet set properly, and we'll pop it out and replace it with these. Not ideal, but it will do. Here's our toilet. Normally the tank would not be installed at this point in time, but this is obviously a reset and we're cutting corners a little bit. We've got our reinforced wax ring in place. I've definitely seen them stuck to the toilet and then set on. Sometimes gravity makes them fall off and this is actually how the instruction said, so it's what we're gonna do. Stripping from these spots sturdily. Line up on our bolts as well as we can. And then just kind of let gravity wiggle it down. Now, if you want to, you can caulk that line between the toilet and the floor, but two things. One, it should be entirely cosmetic. Water should never go anywhere except straight down from the toilet through the wax ring into the drain. Number two, I wouldn't caulk it until you flushed the toilet at least once and made sure that water is going down exactly where it's supposed to, because this will be the only indication that you have a leak. And if you caulk it, the water won't get out and it'll just kind of slowly rot through the floor and cause issues down below. So let's give it a try. Yeah, looks like we did good. <laughs>